Good morning. This is Deepak. How are you? I hope uh, all is well, and uh, I'm here again to have a conversation with you. Today's conversation is uh, going to be interesting because of a question from Remy Christine. Christine Remy. Most of the questions are coming from readers of You Are the Universe, Discovering Your Cosmic Self and Why It Matters. And so, of course, you can send me any question on any topic, and I'll do my best to answer it here. The place to send questions is info at jio.com, I-N-F-O at jio.com, I-N-F-O at jio com J I Y O, and while you're at it, please download the app, Jio. The app can be downloaded on iTunes and also on Android. It is our community for us all together to help create a critical mass for a more peaceful, just, sustainable, healthier, and joyful world. So please download the app as well, J I Y O. Okay, now hello to all of you and thank you for joining me. Today's question from Christine Remy. Because we arise from pure awareness in physical incarnation and we return to pure awareness, what is the purpose in our experience of physicality? Pure awareness is already aware of its own pure nature, so waking up to our own beingness seems redundant. What does our experience as physical beings serve to do? What does it serve to do? Are we here to further evolve as creators? Thank you, Deepak Christine. So I will say that the purpose of manifestation is um, manifestation, the purpose of uh, experience is to have experience. Um, it is the play of consciousness. Uh, we are playful creatures and we are the means through which the universe plays. It's not just humans by the way, uh, all mammals play. So um, there are other species that play as well, primates, bonobos, and uh, we play in ways that lead to creativity. So yes, as uh, consciousness evolves as experience through um, expressing itself in form and phenomena. In form and phenomena. I've mentioned before, every, every form is a phenomenon and every phenomenon is the arising and subsiding of modifications of awareness. And these modifications of awareness are simply the knowing of experience. The knowing of experience as sensations, as sense perceptions, as feelings, and then the interpretation of all that as thought. So. Humans, unlike other species, have, de have developed very elaborate means of uh, communicating experience and creating a story out of that experience. So this is uh, something that needs to be deeply understood. Humans are a particular species of consciousness just like there are other species of consciousness from uh, snakes and reptiles and crocodiles and birds and eagles and bats and insects and plants. These are all species of different consciousness. Sorry, these are all different species of consciousness but all coming from pure awareness. And so each species of consciousness has a sliver of experience in the infinite spectrum of experience. Look at a tree and from the human point of view, because we have a word for it, the tree is immediately conjures up an experience even in your imagination, just the word tree. 
But look at a tree. And, you know, as, as uh, Ananda, Buddha's disciple, looked at the tree, he saw the whole cosmos there. He saw rainbows and sunshine and earth and water and wind and air and the infinite void and the whole universe in a tree. But um, as um, we ordinarily look at a tree, all we see is that which we call a tree. But uh, imagine the ecosystem of a tree. Imagine a snake, a bat, an insect, a rabbit, a butterfly, um, an eagle, a sparrow, uh, a mouse, all having an experience of a tree. And you'll see that each of these species occupies a small sliver of awareness with overlapping um, degrees of awareness. And in fact, evolution is only possible because no species of consciousness sees the whole tree as a universe unless it transcends thought and then looks at it in bewilderment and sees that even a leaf is a photograph of the whole universe. So this is the play of consciousness that is experiencing itself in infinite forms and phenomena through expressions of itself which are species of consciousness. And in fact there is no incarnation. That which we call the body is just a continuum of sensations and sense perceptions. That which we call the universe is also a continuum of intermittent sensations and perceptions. The words universe, body, mind are human constructs because we have the ability to create these constructs and we have the ability to conceive of a construct. We have the ability to govern how it is conceived and how it evolves. And ultimately we embed ourselves in the construct and become the construct. It's quite amazing, isn't it, how we are doing this? This is the play of human consciousness, but ultimately it's all a play of infinite consciousness. So now I will come back in 15 seconds to complete this thought. Okay, I'm back here and I see Ramanand uh, Dixit is here as usual. Good evening to you in India, Ramanand. So now this play of consciousness, the Sanskrit word for this is Leela. Leela is also the name of the goddess and uh, she is uh, dancing as the universe. And what is really dancing is pure consciousness, which is Purusha and Prakriti is its expression as the play of consciousness. This play of consciousness is never ending so that um, creativity is never ending and therefore evolution is never ending in its expressions. Consciousness remains as it is, the witness of its own creation. And so consciousness conceives, what does it conceive? It conceives a construct through human, the species of consciousness that we call human. It conceives a construct, it governs that construct, it creates that construct, and then it becomes the construct. So as we embed ourselves in our own constructs, and those constructs include body, mind, and universe, they all go together. Consciousness is the conceiver, governor, witness and uh, that which is becoming its own construct. And as it becomes its own construct, it continues to evolve. Evolution is a never-ending horizon. And what is the purpose? It's playful creation. Playful creation. If we understood this, if we just understood that there is no such thing as an inner world somewhere inside me, and an outer world out there, that it's all happening in awareness, then we would actually 
spontaneously lose the um, uh, we would spontaneously lose the um, the experience of a separate self and if we spontaneously lost the experience of a separate self then we would spontaneously emerge with the divine qualities of love compassion joy the peace that passes understanding and in that playfulness we would create um, new worlds new universes new ways to experience the never ending horizon of creativity of creative intelligence the infinite being that is playing through us in every breath so today why not regard every breath as a prayer if we had to consciously breathe and remind ourselves to be breathe consciously then uh, we wouldn't be alive every breath is a prayer a gift a creation of existence every breath is existence awareness in motion every breath is gratitude every breath is meditation every breath is the biosphere breathing into you so you can be a living soul that's the biblical phrase too the lord god made man from the breath from the dust of the earth and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul the living soul is experiencing itself as the movement of breath the movement of breath is the movement of awareness the pause between breath is awareness itself and we are the infinite being breathing itself as this species of consciousness to what purpose the purpose is infinite play and infinite creativity and infinite um, expression moving in the direction of um, of truth and what is the truth the truth is we are the infinite being breathing and contracting as we expand we become the infinite non local being as we contract we become the individual body mind with its experiences that we call the world okay so be at peace today allow your breath to become the instrument to experience the peace that passes all understanding the peace that passes all understanding is in every inhale of the breath in every exhale of the breath and in the space the stillness between every breath it is so intimate because your breath is the movement of consciousness that we call life let today be a prayer to the infinite being breathing through us in the realm of space time and causality surrender to the prayer that is breath